Girls and boys, hello. I hope you all had a nice weekend. This is just a very quick review of even and odd numbers. So remember some of the rules that we talked about. If we can skip count by two to a number, it is even. If we cannot, it is odd. Numbers that end in 0, 2, 4, 6, and 8 are even, no matter what. So numbers like these, 14, 20, 72, 62, 288, are even. Numbers like these on the bottom, 19, 51, 3, 27, and 401, are odd. And again, one way that we know that is by looking at the last number. So when we look at units, when we look at the connecting cubes that we practiced with, we don't have the numbers in front of us, but there's a very easy way to figure out if we're looking at an even or an odd number of things. So here you can see that we have a stack of blocks. And the way that we can figure out if, these are, if this is an even or an odd number is by doing this. We know it's even because we can make stacks that are the same size. It's pretty easy when we're dealing with a small number, right? If we take something a little bit bigger, of course we could count all the way across the screen, or we can just see if we can make an array. See if we can make an equal stack of units. Okay, and in this case we're using squares. Let's see what happens. Okay, so we wound up with two columns with four squares. Pretty easy, right? We can see that they're even, so we know the number that they make when they're all together is also even. So no matter how many we have, and if the numbers get really big, we can tell if we have an array and all of the columns look the same, we know that we're using an even number. And that'll be important later. Even numbers tell us a lot of things that we can skip count by two. Later on, much, much later on, when we learn about multiplication and division, these will be very important, and we're going to talk about our doubles facts again later. And if we can't make even stacks or rows, that means we're probably, we are dealing with an odd number. So without counting all of these squares, we know that one of them must be even and one number must be odd because we can't skip count by two to get both of these numbers. So we can see that the red columns are the same and because they're the same we know that we can skip count by 2 to get that number. And we've got 2, 4, 6, 
8, which we know is an even number. If we try to do the same thing on the other side, 2, 4, 6, 8, oh, but we can't skip count by 2 to get this one. And we don't have an even stack here. So we know this has to be odd. OK, I know this was probably a little easy. It gets more difficult with bigger numbers and with word problems. But if you just remember what we said, if you can skip count by 2, and if the numbers end in 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8, it's an even number. OK? The end.